It's been just more than a week that I've had a positive PCR test and been diagnosed with COVID-19. Apart from the bouts of fatigue, back to my usual practices of daily intermittent fasting, cold showers, and until I get my blood work done, I'm avoiding cardiovascular exercise and resisted training. But for now, I'm getting to my 10,000 steps at least per day. This experience has forced me to slow down. I've got a chance to spend loads of family time. Please help me, please let me out. They're actually good people. I've got a chance to catch up on reading on books that I really wanted to. Well, number one, Omicron was not as severe as the other variant. However, you still take the precautions of hand washing, mask wearing, and social distancing. Secondly, vaccines work. Right now, most of the hospital admissions are from people who are unvaccinated and they are the ones that have more severe symptoms. The timing of which, of when I had my vaccine really helped me, I believe, in having lesser symptoms. Thirdly, this experience has taught me to be grateful. I'm grateful for all the love and support. I've received so many messages via different social media platforms. Some people even sent it via Pigeon. Really grateful to have your love and support during this time. The entire experience, the thing that I'm the most grateful for is unlimited Wi-Fi. <laughs> In fact, the only regret I have is I should have faked symptoms a lot longer to avoid housework and other household chores. In this closing video, I wanted to share with you all a gratitude exercise or a gratitude practice. This is something to be done if you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, or even if you're feeling less than. The exercise is quite simple. Every morning and every evening, when you wake up and before you go to sleep, think of three to five things that you're grateful for. They can be big things such as love from family and friends, or they can be the simplest things such as owning a cell phone. Try to think of new things to be grateful for. When you show gratitude though, it helps you stay present, it helps you be thankful. Wonderful practice to start the day off and to end the day. Guys, thank you so much for sharing this COVID journey with me. I hope you found these series of videos useful. In the meantime, I hope you all have a blessed 2022. Stay safe and stay strong.